Hello, all. Uh, once again, a uh, uh, warm welcome to Chennai Chris Factory's uh, official YouTube channel. So uh, thank you so much for supporting us. I hope you enjoyed part one of Out of the Park, the cricket preliminary round of mileage two. So without much ado, let us jump into part two. But before that, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel and uh, like our videos. Please do send us your feedback. A lot of people have sent, sent a very good and very positive feedback uh, to our videos earlier. So please do continue to send us. We are always here to improve and uh, host a lot of other quizzes as well. So here we go with part two of Out of the Park, the cricket quiz. Question one, here we go. Name the first and so far the only cricketer to have won an award named after the cricketer seen here. The cricketer in the picture is a former Victorian cricketer who had led a team to England in 1868. So an award named after the cricketer in the picture here has been won by just one person so far, one player. Who is it? The answer is Ajinkya Rahane, the winner of the Mulak medal named after Johnny Mulak. So Johnny Mulak was the captain of the 1868 Aboriginal Cricketer Tour of England. So this award is given to the man of the match or the player of the match as it is called uh, nowadays for, of the Boxing Day Test match in Australia. So Ajinkya Rahane it is uh, moving ahead. This is Tony Locke, a former English cricketer. What was his famous contribution in the fourth test match between England and Australia held at Manchester between July 26 and July 31, 1956. So the match, a very popular, very famous match. What was Tony Locke's contribution in that match held at Manchester in 1956? The answer is he picked up the one wicket in the test match that Jim Laker did not pick up. So Jim Laker famously picked up 19 wickets in that test match, including all the 10 wickets in uh, single innings uh, repeated only by Anil Kumble later. So moving ahead. This Indian Lancashire player was such a crowd favorite that once a policeman caught him speeding on the streets of Manchester and then knowing who the driver was is believed to have said, my father would kill me if I booked you. So who was this player who was also the first Indian cricketer to endorse a brand? The first cricketer to endorse a band, but he was more famous in Lancashire. And a cop caught him and then left him, saying that his father would have killed him if he had booked him. So who was this player? The answer is Farooq Engineer. Farooq Engineer it was, and uh, he endorsed Brill Cream. Moving ahead. Saurav Ganguly played 113 tests for India. So who is the only player to have featured in the playing 11 of all of those 113 tests? So Saurav Ganguly and X played 113 tests together. The only player to be in the playing 11 of Saurav Ganguly's entire career. The answer is none other than the wall Rahul Dravid. Next question. Sunil Gavaskar's sole test match wicket was Zahir Abbas the legendary Pakistani cricketer. Who was his sole ODI wicket? Sunil Gavaskar had taken just one test match wicket and one ODI wicket. In test match cricket, it was Zahir Abbas. Who was it in one day international cricket? I think most of you would have guessed it by now. The answer is, I tried a googly here. The answer is Zahir Abbas once again. So Zahir Abbas, we could probably say was a bunny for Sunil Gavaskar. Moving ahead. Who were the three subcontinent captains at the first colored clothing World Cup in 1992? So till 1992, one-day national World Cups were also played in cricket. So we had the day-night matches uh, from 1992. Who were the three subcontinent cap captains at the 1992 World Cup? And the answer is Mohammad Azruddin captain of India, Imran Khan, captain of Pakistan, and Arvinda De Silva was the captain of Sri Lanka. So most of the people, most of the quizzes got this wrong. They probably thought it was Rana Tunga. No, it was Arvinda De Silva in 92. Moving ahead. There have been two instances when a batsman has been retired out, and both these instances occurred in the same innings. 
Sri Lanka versus Bangladesh in 2001 when captain Jay Surya made the decision for the two batsmen batting at that time to retire out and come back. So who were these two batsmen? The only two instances both happening in the same match. Who were the two batsmen to have been retired out? And the answer is Mahela Jayawardene and Mahavan Attapattu. So if I'm not wrong, both of them had scored centuries and Jai Surya had asked both of these players to retire out and come back. Moving ahead. Apart from Sandeep Patel and Said Kirmani, Sachin Tendulkar and Ashok Mankad also made cameos in Patel's Bollywood debut, Kabhi Ajnabite. But there was also a politician, a cricket administrator and a former BCCI president who also featured in the movie in a cameo role. Who was this person? Who was this cricket administrator? I'll probably give you a clue. Try to connect somewhere with Shah Rukh Khan if you could. Okay, and the answer is SK Wankade. So why Shah Rukh Khan? Because Shah Rukh Khan was banned from the Wankade Stadium uh, during the IPL. So uh, Mr. SK Wankade was the answer. Who he made a cameo in Kabi Ajinabete. Moving ahead. Which two cricketers own this chain of meat outlets called Meat One? So this is the first outlet that was opened in Lahore in 2010. So opened in Lahore. So I'm sure you would have got it. Uh, uh, these are two Pakistani players. Two legendary Pakistani players. I'll give you a clue. A left-hander and a right-hander. Okay. Time's up. And the answer is Inzam Alak and Said Anwar. So these two uh, started a business entity called Meet One. Moving ahead. Which cricketing terminology that means an unplayable ball and also very good pitch is also the name of an ancient Israeli port a kind of an orange grown near that port and also a kind of a cake with a spongy chocolate top cookie with orange flavored filling. So what, which cricketing terminology an unplayable ball are we talking about? And the answer is Jaffa. So Jaffa was the answer I was looking for and Jaffa for uh, is also the name of a cake, is also the name of the orange and an Israeli port. Moving ahead. Bernard Bosankwe, an English cricketer, is credited to have invented this stock ball for spinners and is said to have bowled it for the first time on 20th July 1900. So what variation of spin bowling are we talking about here? So Bernard Bosankwe is officially credited or rather unofficially credited to be the inventor of this stock ball? The answer is googly. The googly or the wrong one. Moving ahead. Which of these cricketing laws have never undergone a change in the entire history of cricket? So they have never, I'm asking for the law which has never undergone a change in the entire history of cricket. Was it the weight of the ball, length of the pitch, width of the bat, size of the grounds, or width of the stumps. So which one of these five laws have never changed? And the answer is the length of the pitch. 22 yards remained 22 yards for almost two centuries now. Moving ahead. Only five Women cricketers have scored centuries on their debuts in One Day Internationals. One of them, Lynn Thomas, of them, Lynn Thomas and Enid Bakewell are from England, while Nicole Bolton is from Australia. The other two are from India. So name the two Indian women cricketers who scored century, centuries on their debuts. So one of them is a legendary Indian cricketer, Indian women cricketer, who and who was who who is it and who is the other cricketer? And the answer is Reshma Gandhi and Mitali Raj. So Reshma Gandhi and uh, Mitali Raj, and in fact, uh, I think if I'm not wrong, both of them scored it in the same match. Moving ahead, six 
11, 10, 30, 17, and 14. These are the totals scored by an African nation in the six of its international women's team cricket matches that it has played. I repeat, these are the team scores of an international women's team cricket uh, cricket team in six of its international women's cricket uh, matches. In one of these matches, the opponent Uganda scored a massive 314 runs, which is the highest score ever in a T20 international and also won the match by 304 runs, which was another record. So name this country with probably the worst records in cricket. A team scoring just 6, 11, 10, 30, 17, and 14. And losing by a huge margin of 304 runs against Uganda. The answer is Mali. The African nation, Mali. Moving ahead. If it is Kumar Sangakara of Sri Lanka in men's cricket, it is Amy Satterthwait of New Zealand in women's cricket. What record, exhaustive as of now, do these players share? So, Rohit Sharma came quite close, but could not repeat what Kumar Sangakara did, or for that matter, Amy Satterthwait also did. And the answer is four consecutive centuries in one-day internationals. So four consecutive centuries in one-day internationals. Moving ahead. ID this Davis Cup tennis player of an African nation. And why is he in a cricket quiz? Look at the picture carefully. This is a Davis Cup tennis player of an African nation. But why is he in a cricket quiz? And the answer is, he's Asif Karim the former captain of Kenya. So he was the Kenyan captain in 1996 when Kenya famously beat West Indies. Moving ahead. In which league would you find the teams Kings, Viking, Gladiators, Stallions and Tuskers? So Kings, Viking, Gladiators, Stallions and Tuskers. So in which league would you find these teams? Which T20 league? The answer is, it is the Lanka Premier League from Sri Lanka. Moving ahead. Richard Stokes is said to be the only person to watch these similar incidents on both the occasions. One as a 10-year-old boy in 1956 at, at Manchester. And then next, 43 years later in 1999 at Delhi. So what were these similar incident, incidents that Stokes was lucky to have witnessed? Probably the only person to watch both live. We already spoke about it earlier in this quiz. So I think that's a clue. The answer is the historic 10 wicket hauls uh, in a single innings by Jim Laker at Manchester and Anil Kumble in uh, Delhi. Moving ahead. I did this cricketer caricatured by spy Sir Leslie Matthew Watt for Vanity Fair in 1897 who had scored a century on his test debut in 1896. While a section of the cricketing experts praised him for his accomplishments in the year, other MCC players are believed to have complained, a nigger showing us how to play the game of cricket. So who was this legendary cricketer? I'll give you a clue. He also has a cricket tournament, a domestic cricket tournament named after him. A big clue. The answer is K.S. Ranjit Sinji. So Ranjit Trophy is named after the legendary Ranjit Sinji. Moving, after, moving ahead. A painting called The Kissing of Blank, 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 depicting a true on-field incident, was featured in Salman Rushdie's novel The Moor's Last Sight. Fill in the blanks with the name of a former Indian test cricketer who was the first Indian to score a century on debut outside India. So there was this famous painting called The Kissing of Blank, 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 depicting a true on-field incident. Who was this Indian test cricketer? The answer is The Kissing of Abbas Ali Baig. So in one of the matches when Abbas Ali Baig was returning during a break from, from the pitch to the pavilion, uh, it's, uh, it is said that a girl had rushed and kissed them. So that's why you have the painting Kissing of Abbas Ali Baig. Moving ahead. 
West Indies won their first test victory against England in England in 1950 at Lords. To commemorate this event, Egbert Moore, who sang under the pseudonym Lord Beginner, popularized the famous Victory Calypso. The Calypso also immortalized two young players who made their debuts in that tour. Name the players. So this was the Victory Calypso. Cricket, lovely cricket at Lords where I saw it. Cricket, lovely cricket at Lords where I saw it. Yardley tried his best, but Goddard won the test. They gave the crowd plenty fun. Second test and West Indies won. With those two little pals of mine, X and Y. So X and Y. So Y probably rhymes with the word mine. That's a clue. Who could probably be X? The answer is Ramadin and Valentin. Sonny Ramadin and Alf Valentin. Moving ahead. Sachin Tendulkar and Rahul Dravid hold the Indian as well as the world record for having played the most number of test matches together. So 146 matches together, Sachin Tendulkar and Rahul Dravid. For South Africa, it is Jack Carlis and Mark Boucher with 137. Cook and Anderson for England with 130. Sangakara and Jayavadana for Sri Lanka, uh, 126 matches together. A and B for Australia, Richards and Greenwich for West Indies, Stephen Fleming and Nathan Astle for New Zealand, Javad Miandad and Imran Khan for Pakistan, X and Y for Zimbabwe, and Mushfikur Rahim and Tamim Iqbal for Bangladesh. What is common between A and B and X and Y in this list? You could probably say who is A and B and X and Y, but Specifically, there is something common between A and B together and X and Y together. And the answer is they were brothers. Mark and Steve were for Australia, Andy and Grand Flower for Zimbabwe. Moving ahead. A red inker is a term used to denote a not out or undefeated batsman. What is the origin of the term? So what is the origin of the term red inker, which is used to denote a an undefeated batsman or a not out batsman? The answer is the term comes from the practice of using a red ink to enter undefeated innings in a scorebook. So you, you usually see a red dot on top of an, undefe an undefeated innings or a not out innings. So that practice comes from using red ink. Moving ahead. And this is the final question. And we thought we'll probably end it with a tribute to our favorite crowd favorite player the jersey number seven is still an emotion in india so at what position did ms Dhoni, the owner of jersey number seven play in his debut oda match against bangladesh so ms Dhoni, the new mentor for team india jersey number seven is forever an emotion in india the answer is i think that was a clue there number seven so he came in at number seven so thank you so much all of you it was a pleasure hosting you for the cricket quiz uh, we've got more quizzes coming up uh, we'll catch you in the next set of videos please do subscribe to our channel please do like our videos uh, if you like it of course <laughs> and uh, please do share your feedback thank you so much and with that i end out of the park